What is up, you all? It is Marso Wavy here, and I'm doing a video on you know my little crush of YouTube that I be crushing on because oh, she fine as hell. Um, this is Kyra Michelle, and she is talking about the time that she threw the hands with the side chick, man. I want to hear this. Kyra Michelle, if you're looking at this, I don't even got to say nothing. She already knows. She already know. You feel me? Like, that's how we do. <laughs> but we already going to get into this, and I'm ready to start this to see what's good with it. So let's go. Hey girls, hey, what's going on? What's poppin'? I Ooh, miss you guys. I am flip. back with another story time. And <laughs> before I get into the story, let me address something. Yeah, like my makeup today, I did a little smoky y'all for y'all. I did a little something dramatic because y'all love to call me a fucking tranny. <laughs> let me dress something for y'all. Ooh. I was born with a pussy, banana basket, vagina, all that. I was born with it. I won't die with it. I like dick. <laughs> For those that have. Kyra Michelle, if you're watching this, what's smacking against the wall? She <laughs> watched DDG, and I know you watch DDG. What's smacking against the wall? Was good. <laughs> I have something smart to say besides the trolls. For those who are really just trying to be funny, bitch, fuck you. Okay, because I can look, look, check this out. If I was a nigga with a dick, I still look better than you. So, <laughs> so I'm not, I don't take offense to it, bitch. I got a pussy and a nigga like to eat it. So, we gonna <laughs> scratch that out. I ain't no fucking nigga. I don't just, not everyone on YouTube talks like that. So, excuse me for having a deeper voice than usual. What the hell? <laughs> I know some YouTubers who talk like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep on playing this shit though. That's besides the point. Anyway, Mercy. I'm gonna get into this story, so I'm gonna make it quick, short yeah. for y'all because y'all wanna know every detail, but y'all wanna end like a five minute story. So I'm gonna make this quick while I roll my blunt. I you talk by a title. This is the time that I fought the side chick. Now, this all started when I was a sophomore in high school. This low hop, let me find out. <laughs> I had a lovely boy. Matter of fact, let me get, I gotta break down my weed first. Hold on. Okay. I had a lovely boyfriend. This is not, I was like a sophomore in high school. I was like 15, something like that. I had a lovely boyfriend, and I, this is the time I was living in Canton, and he lived like an hour away from me. So my parents being good parents, they would like drive us back and forth. You know what I'm saying? His mom would drive him there. My dad and my mom would drive me there. Da, 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 so on and so forth. They would drive us back and forth. And one, it was, at the, it was at the end of the year. And everyone who lives in Canton knows at the end of the year, there's this big ass fair that everybody goes to. There's rides, there's fine ass niggas there. You go to get shows. Like everyone knows who this fair is. Everyone, I can't remember what it's called though. I haven't lived in Canton in years. I'm gonna ask my bitch Kyle to put it right here with what that fair is called. There's fireworks at the end of it, it lasts for a weekend. It's a lit ass fair. You go there to get shows. So, but he invited me to a fair in his town. I'm not gonna say where his town is, that's gonna give away who I'm talking about. But let's say his name is Desmond. Desmond invited me to his little, you know, soiree, his little fair or whatever. So I'm, you know, gung-ho over my nigga. I'm like, of course, fuck that fair. I'm going to go see my nigga in his fair. So I get hey. there. Hey. Pretty sure she's single now, though. I might have to slide in some DMs. Like, what's good? Like, I told y'all in my last video. I do got a deep voice. I don't have no high voice. It's just that I get excited. Right now, I'm pretty chill. I don't know. It's probably because I just ate or something. I don't really know. But I might hit her with that DDG, you know. I might hit her. <laughs> but I don't know. I heard that Chino trying to get at her. 
I, I rock with Chino. I don't know Chino, but I rock with Chino. You feel me? There, my, my dad drives me there, and he drops me off. And his mom, she goes to work. While well, she goes to work, we walk to the fair. The fair is like what, like a mile? It wasn't really shit. It was nice and warm outside too. So anyway, we walk into the fair. We get there. We having fun. We riding rides. We playing games. He introduced me to his friends. You know, it's my girlfriend Kyra. I was like, oh. love his girlfriend Kyra. She did it again. <laughs> she hit us with the hair flip, man. I'm about to be over here passing out. <laughs> So anyway, yeah. So he's introduced me to all his friends. We hanging out. We having fun. Yada yada yada. Until we start playing one of those little shooting games or whatever. It was a little. Ah! No, I did not just drop all my weed. Ah! So I know that took a minute. To so we start playing a little game. You know, little not really a minute, basketball no game. He's playing or whatever to win me a stuffed animal, and I wanted the big ass one. Now, the big ass one was a banana. <laughs> It was a banana with dreadlocks, and the banana was high as fuck, right? I wish, I'm, if I could find a picture of it, I'll insert a picture of it. But the banana was high as fuck, and I wish I still had it, but I wrote, like, me, Kyra, and Desmond forever on it in permanent fucking markers. I had to throw the fucking banana away, because I ruined it by writing that shit. But so if I didn't write that, gave that, I would still have it to this. Could have gave that banana a beer, girl. Could have been, like, you know... Beer month, you know, hashtag beer Tuesday, feel me? <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm kidding. Kind of, kind of not. <laughs> it's very fucking day because I've been in it. It's funny. Anyway, so eventually, while he's playing, I'm on my phone or whatever, and I peep. You know you peep. Look at the side of your eye. You can see somebody. You can feel someone looking at you. Well, I got, I felt that feeling. I felt somebody looking at me. So, I turn over, and it's these little group of bitches, and one, like, hold they up. all- Hold up, This is a family channel. <laughs> I'm trying not to get demonetized, that's why I keep cursing down to a low. <laughs> all of them are laughing or whatever. And one isn't. One just has, has like this little stank bitch face. She's just like, she's just mad for some reason. What the fuck you mad for, bitch? I ain't do nothing to you. So whatever. I I blow it off. I get dirty looks like that on a regular because I'm a beautiful young lady. So I get looks like that all the time. Anyway, so I blow it off. So then we leave. We go to a little pizza stand. He buys me some pizza. We, we sit down on the bench and we start to eat it. These bitches sit down on the... What are you doing? Stop. These bitches sit down on the bench from across from us and they sitting right on a bench in front of that little fucking, you know, that little uh, shit that goes back and forth like that. Yeah. So they sitting in front of that ride and we sit in front of the little pizza stand and we look, they looking at me, I'm looking at them like, boo, bitch, hello, fuck you, look. Anyway. <laughs> and the funny, the funny thing is, I did say that. That's what you said. Bitch, what the fuck are you looking at me for? So anyway. So anyway, they, they, I'm eating my. I finish my pizza first before I say anything, mind you. I so I finish my pizza and I'm like, "Babe, why the fuck is this bitch looking at me so hard?" He looks up, like he don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. He's like, mm, "They probably see you cute. Or they probably go to my school. They probably go to his school." I let it go for a minute. I let it go, and they still stare and they still whisper and they still keep keying. And I don't like that very much. I take offense to it so what do i do i bet she gets up because i was sitting like an indian style up. but i was facing him so i was like sitting up on the bench so i turn around i turn this way take my feet off the bench and i say uh boo can i help you see that's why she bay for real that's that's why I, you know try sliding them dms to be honest <laughs> With something so what does she do she rises the fuck up and what do her friends do they rise the fuck up and they start walking to me so what do i do i rise the fuck up and i start walking towards them too i'm like do you got a problem with me like why the fuck you keep staring at me you follow us what 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 is it what she was she didn't even say shit to me she was like this is how in my head it happened 
You know that movie ATL with, you know, Tip, you know, mm-hmm, and Lauren London? She, in my head, this bitch basically said, oh, so this is the bitch that got you tripping on me? But she ain't say that. But that's what, I, that's how my brain processed it, okay? <laughs> I guess she said, like, she's like, oh, so this is your little girlfriend or something. And I said, like <laughs> yes, I am. I'm like, why you address me? I'm the one that spoke to you. Hello? She was like, first of all, little girl, no one's talking. I said, little, I ain't no little girl, first of all. I ain't, ain't nothing little about me. I got little titties, but I ain't little. I'm a very thick individual. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me? She was like, I was talking to him. He was like, hey, hey, chill out. I, I thought you didn't know them. She's like, oh, he knows me very well. I'm looking at him in my head. I'm thinking, well, how well does she fucking know you, sir? <laughs> and he was like, man, watch y'all. Da, 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 da. She was like, oh. So you want to show up to a fair with her, but she wasn't all hugged up or claiming no little bitch when you was with me the other day. What? You was with who? So in my head, I'm thinking like, wait, didn't this nigga just say they kind of went to the way you was with? So I'm like, so you just acted like you didn't know her. Now, she, now you was with her the other day? He couldn't say shit. He didn't say shit. Oh, but she has something to say, though. She said, but this bitch said, I will never forget this moment. This bitch had the nerve to say, she said, oh, he don't know me. Hmm. Hmm. My, she took my, hmm. <laughs> she says, hmm. He knows me and my pussy very well. Whoa. This is. This is trying to be a family channel. That's what I was trying to do, but I already know Shorty about to probably like knock her out. Probably knock her upside the head too. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Everything in my head went like blank. Like I couldn't hear shit. The whole I knew it. my life went like silent. Last yeah, thing I heard was he knows me and my pussy very well. So what do I do? My mind is 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 trying to comprehend what the fuck this girl just said. So I couldn't comprehend it. I didn't give a fuck what she said. I reacted, and my reaction was as soon as the, as soon as it was said, I took about three seconds. Three, two, one. I reached over him and I spat the fuck out that bitch. I, I called it. <laughs> she and G, but she banned at the same time. You feel me? <laughs> That's why I had a crush on her. Fine as hell energy. <laughs> I smacked the fuck out of her and grabbed her hair in, in kind of like the same motion. Kind of like, ooh, for those that watch Love and Hip Hop, you know when Moniece smacked um, Lil Fizz's little girlfriend at the moment, oh, she's like, did not tell, I pull, I pulled a Moniece, I pulled a Moniece on her. I didn't say, didn't I tell you? I said, bitch, what the fuck did you say? Knowing, knowing, okay, let me, let me dial it back. I'm, like, I'm getting a little too hype. Knowing I should have took my anger out on him, but for some reason in my head, I feel like she knew me. And she deserved to get her ass whooped too. So, I did. <laughs> to my surprise, her friends didn't like, like come to her defense. Like they didn't try to jump. They didn't try to fight me back. They, as well as my boyfriend at the time, was trying to, um, un trying to ungrip my hand from around her raggedy ass, smelly ass, pack hair weave. So, so they couldn't get it, and he's like, babe, 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 come on, like, you gotta, they haven't, like, stop, da, 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 da. Basically, what he told me before the affair was they have, like, a no tolerance for fighting at this fair, and you will get arrested. Whatever. I didn't give a fuck. They somehow ungripped my hands from around this bitch raggedy weave, and he, like, he pulls me really quickly, like, really hard, and, like, and he's like, we gotta go now. I'm like, what? I gotta go i wasn't finished yet <laughs> he hurries up and he gets me we leave the fair and he takes me to like the mcdonald's across the street 
And basically, he asked me, he's like, why would you do that? Nigga, what? Why would I, why would I do that? Because she fucking disrespected me. So I'm going to, like, slap the taste out of her mouth. Fucking me. Why would I do that? So yeah, then when we get out back to his mom's house, he apologized like crazy. And me being 15, stupid, young, and naive, I forgave him and yada, yada, yada. That wasn't the first, nor was the last time he cheated on me. But yeah, just so y'all know, he didn't stay my boyfriend for long, so. But yeah, that's it. Nice, short, and sweet for the impatient motherfuckers on this channel. And yeah, if you guys like my face today, you didn't like it the last time, you didn't like the lighting from last time, whatever. I got some new lighting in this motherfucker. I will tag the video of it right here. You guys can go click on that and watch that. And if you like this, thumb it up. Subscribe to me, share it with your friends, and if you subscribe, make sure you click that little bell too so you can be notified when I drop a video. And yeah, I'm about to finish rolling this blunt, smoke it, eat this little food, play with Nitro, and enjoy the rest of my night. Anyway, I love you guys. She's a bad thing. Finding the hell. Thick as fuck. That was Kyra Michelle. Ooh, them hair flips. <laughs> oh, but I feel like J. Cole, I'm probably too young too for her. Like when he said that he was too young for her. Oh, what was her name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm a big J. Cole fan, but I just watched her and I'm just, ooh, boy. She fine. She fine. Fine. Fine, bruh. <laughs> but, um, this has been Marcel Wavy. If you want to go ahead and check out some new content and if you want to see some new uploads that I upload, probably on a daily. Sometimes I have a busy schedule, but, you know, I'm working it out. That way you guys.